everybody, welcome back to the channel and part two of our trip to the Revius Archipelago. So far, the ocean and all of its inhabitants around the islands have shown the crew of Dragon a great time. Crystal clear water, full of life. certainly journeyed here for the diving and have found these waters to be rich and beautiful beyond description. The dives we've been doing have been pretty deep and although we've been using a nitrox blend, our bodies still need a chance to exhaust the excess nitrogen in our blood. We used one of these surface intervals to explore the rugged coastline around Socorro. These islands have seen some volcanic activity as recently as 1993 when Socorro let off some steam and in 1953 when eruption on Benedicto burned the island and all of its ecology to ash. Not only that, but according to rumor, these islands sit in a hurricane hallway. Every system that moves through this area of the Pacific plows right over the top of this place. Tough neighborhood. Underway, we are leaving Cabo Pierce and we are going to head out to the Naval Base Anchorage. Taking odds on whether or not they'll actually come out to the boat and check us in or want to have any kind of interaction, but uh, we are required three and a half miles away and they'll probably come back here and go diving somewhere. appearance in front of the naval port anchorage. They asked some routine questions over the radio about the boat and the crew and sent us on our way. We headed to a spot called the boiler for an afternoon dive. We entered the water a hundred feet down swell the high spot and something was amiss. It hadn't happened before and it wouldn't happen again for the rest of the trip. We did a long stride off the back of the boat and as usual there were a dozen sharks in the water. These guys were behaving differently. See this dude down here in the corner? Pectoral fins down and tail twisted? That ain't good. It's like a big dog when his hair is standing up on his back. Nothing good is going to happen. And then I get center punched by this dude. And right after that, this guy gets close enough for my heel to connect. Aaron Mayo and I huddled up and swam to the rock without further incident. A later review of the footage allowed me to see this, and this, and this. Come on! Toothy Bastard opens his mouth just as he connects. He was definitely cruising for a snack or vice, which he was denied. I'll be keeping both my nipples, thank you. The boiler would redeem itself and become one of our favorite dives. 
Its wedding cake structure is dramatic and full of ledges loaded with jacks and white tip sharks. And the heavy current would bring its most popular companion, another first for Aaron. Dude, are you scratching my anchor? Yeah. It sounds like you're scratching my anchor. That anchor costs more than your truck. I don't think so. I still have the cinnamon roll in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so here's harsh and unexpected news from the travel vlog. Spotify ceases to work after about what appears to be seven days. Each one of us has had a drop off, but now we are on the boat for a 26 hour passage and there is no music anywhere. I can sing though. I can sing. Sing us something now, would you please? Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. I say it's all right. So we got that going for us. See? I'm helpful. It's breakfast time and we're eating a spicy seared wagyu for breakfast. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm drinking coffee watching it. Look! Look! The way! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm drinking my coffee in my comfy robe watching whales. <gasps> There's, it's a mom and a baby! It's the mom and the baby. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. Are you having a good morning? Yeah. Yes, I am. We are about eight miles away from Roca Partida. These are not the conditions that we were hoping for. It's blown about 20, gusts into about 24. It's running six to eight feet. Not at all what we were looking for. But we're going. We're going. Maybe a little less wind. I would if I'm gonna make a request. A little bit less wind. 
you really see light, then we have to look for it. So here we are, Roca Partida. <laughs> Not great conditions. So it's very, uh, very spicy out here right now. Swell's running about seven foot. We're 20, gusting to 24. Um, and this is an open water dive, open ocean dive. Um, so we're going to uh, limit the head count, the chum line, depending on what you want to call it around here. Uh, just get this figured out we planned on doing three dives here but we'll uh, we'll see what happens beyond the first one we're definitely jumping in on the first one first dive team is me Austin Ismail it's a little tiny rock to be out in the middle of nowhere right it's looking a little bit sporty out here today but we don't care no. well we oh. sort of can't we sort of care. care that's why Aaron's not coming with us on the first dive <laughs> need to figure this out so it's the 15 minute mark that you're gonna be so we're at it down swell so we're gonna step off right at that right at that southeast cor southwest corner and then so at the 15 minute mark you're gonna have to rise up yeah I'll watch be up on for that yeah yep. watch for that orange sausage buoy yep. have fun yep. don't stay. Okay. that's a spicy meatball
was the sketchiest I've ever done. The furniture got rearranged inside the boat just while we were trying to do the reboarding process. We're safe. It's beautiful. Lots to see, but not the day to do it.